Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. So we're growing wheat in Canada, Pete, either Ontario, Western Canada. Are we high or low yield zones in, in Canada when it comes to growing wheat versus other parts of the world? Yeah, awesome question, Kelvin, and, and I love that question. I just finished the Tech Tour Live series of, of meetings, and virtually everywhere I go, I ask that question. Are you a high yield zone or a low yield zone? And Western farmers always, always, always think that they are low yield, drives me crazy. Let's think about this. Two highest yielding zones, New Zealand and the UK, the British Isles. Why? It's a lot of temperature, and that's a big issue, and they're surrounded by water, so they're cooler. But if you think about it, harvesting sunshine is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to harvest sun, turn it into grain. New Zealand, the South Island, where they held the record for about 10 years, 43 degrees latitude. My farm, Lucan, Ontario, 43 degrees latitude. I get the same sunshine as that grower in New Zealand, so I'm a high yield grower. I mean, everybody gets roughly the same number of growing degree days, 660 growing degree days in terms of your grain fill potential. You take Mike Soleri, who's the, who was the record holder, flip him up into northern, uh, the Northern Hemisphere, and, and his sunlight is my sunlight. So I should be a high yield grower. Western Canada, well guess what? Tim Lehman at Lincolnshire just set a new world record. Uh, 246 bushels per acre. What is Western Canada getting? 60, 65, 70, are they happy with that? Eh, not really, but that's what they expect. Ah, man, drives me nuts. Tim Lehman is at 52 degrees latitude. 52 degrees latitude across the prairies is Red Deer, Saskatoon. We are in a high yield district from a sunlight perspective. So yeah, we have to worry about moisture and we have to worry about high temperatures more, but we get the sunlight to be a high yield district. So now it's up to the farmer, because his job is to harvest sunlight, to make sure that he turns that into a high yield district. And the way you do that is you just decide that you're not a low yield grower, you are a high yield grower, and you give it to harvest that sunshine. The other thing, from a harvest sunshine standpoint that I really think you need to think about, it's your job to harvest sunshine. Anytime the sunlight hits bare dirt, you are not doing your job full stop. So now we have to change our mindset in terms of what can be growing there to harvest sunlight either before we plant the crop in the spring or after we harvest the crop in the fall. Because that crop that harvests that late sunshine, that early sunshine, we turn that back into the soil, we don't harvest it, it makes organic matter. Organic matter cycles nutrients, holds water, makes soil structure better, better soil resiliency, all those things that we want to give to our kids that's what it does for us. So really twofold from a sunlight harvest, it's we are high yield, let's get there, let's figure that out, and let's not waste any of that resource because that's our future. Mm -hmm.